What are you, what are you doing? Okay! Right. Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I hope you guys are enjoying your day. I'm currently on the throughway. I'm in pursuit for my newest addition to the fleet. Crush needs a trailer. I, I currently have a trailer, but if we're gonna do the events like I say we're gonna do this year and, and cross the country, we need an actual rig that not only holds Crush, but also uh, gives us living space while we're at these events. Saying that, you saw before we had some issues with this trailer, but uh, I think we're actually going to be able to get it today. I stopped up at Jake's house to see if he wanted to go, but he's got to go to work early, even though we are near his work. Well, I guess we're we're five or ten minutes closer if we go to the trailer, but by the time he gets there, he would only be there for 30 minutes, so he is not going. But we're on the throughway and headed towards the new addition. Now we've had some complications before, but if everything goes to plan, then I should need fuel. I just signed my waiver, now I can go and pick it up. I really wish that they'd let Jason, Jake, and I just take it originally. Now I gotta do it all by myself. I'm hoping third time's the charm. All right, so the manager just took me back to 101. He asked me a little bit about my shirt. He's like, I keep seeing you wear that same shirt. Well, the thing is, I got like three of this shirt, and I got like eight of the other shirt. So it's not the same shirt, but it's got the same design on it. So I told him a little bit about what we're doing here and what, what the trailer entails. And here's hopefully home. Now it's just time to tear it apart. It doesn't look like it's gonna be too much work. I think I can handle it. I'm not sure if any of these neighbors are home. I'm not sure what kind of utilities are hooked up. It's all about uh, just getting into it and see what's there. Worst case scenario is they come back in a few days or tomorrow or whatever and, and finish it up. But I think, right now, I think I can do it. This looks like a hinge here, which means this whole thing folds in. I got two things to say. One, if that's the case, that's gonna make it a little bit easier, I hope. And second thing, I hope my girlfriend didn't like that pink carpet. Uh, I've taken off some of the skirting. I want to see how I can put those pop-outs in. It's a summit. It's warm in here. RV slide-out system. I'm Ryan from CRRV. You might remember me from such videos as how to control your auto leveling system or nope. how to control your... I think that's how you do it. Unfortunately, there's a lot of snow up there, so I gotta go up there and clean it somehow and my battery's dying, so sorry. I had a He-Man woman hater it. Here's, here's the inside for now. I had a He-Man woman hater it, but as you can see, the outside is now on the inside. There's my neighbors. The jack only went up so high. And then I had to take the risk and see if I could do it by, by you know, whatever lift that is, I don't go to the gym. But as soon as it went off the jack, the board came out from the jack and I was committed. I was so close to losing it, but as you can see, I got it in, so. Welcome home. Yeah, I can't believe he didn't. He didn't detour you here. He just said, "Go and get it." He drew me a circle on a map, and that's where he is. <laughs> Go find him. <laughs> Did he give you a wrench? 
No, he wouldn't give me anything. Really? He's like, oh, we don't loan out tools here. What the heck? All right, Seth, so that's uh, Jake's bed there. What are, you, what are you doing? We gotta get on the other side of this wall to finish jacking it up. This wall's made out of concrete. <laughs> <laughs> the best stuff on earth. You they think you can get through there? They didn't cheap on the walls. You think you can get through there? Just don't break my trailer. All right, you guys, you're really strong. Okay. Hey, didn't you hit the trailer? Hey, take her a little easier. Okay. I have to say that concrete uh, isn't that heavy duty. You, Seth. Your truck's leaking oil. No, that's leaking out your butt. Well, I'm gonna take some pictures from my girlfriend and Jason. This is how far we got today. As you saw, I got uh, the slot, the hinge ups, I guess you can call them, up. We took all the blocks from underneath the trailer out so that it's actually sitting on the wheels right now. And then over here, we had to dis well, we had to take off this porch kind of thing here. There was insulation hanging onto it, and there was also a couple boards along the roof because uh, they had like uh, shingles or, or tin or whatever up there. <laughs> So you can see that's disconnected. And then we had to jack up the porch one stud at a time. And as you can see, it's all it's all screwed up. We have a support in there so it doesn't just cave in. This is disconnected all throughout here. I ran into a problem with my truck. My hitch is not bolted onto my truck completely for some stupid reason. Uh, there's two bolts, there's two bolts unbolted. So when we hooked up the trailer, I could see that something wasn't right. So I'm like, whoa, 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 we can't we can't let it down yet. So tomorrow, I'm hoping that I can get this thing out. We gotta just tie up some lines and whatever so that we can go down the road. I'm hoping the lights will work. I'm hoping everything just rides smoothly like it did today. If we had another probably 30 minutes with two bolts, we'd be in business. It's not yours though. <laughs> Psych. I was gonna say, mine's red. Why is this blue? Yeah. What the heck? Where's mine? I don't know. I don't know why they would send them sh differently. It doesn't make any sense. That's fair. I'll try some. It looks good, though. He's going to like this. That's yeah. Nice. It's sharp. Yeah, Jake likes to steal clothing. What's the camera for? Taking a picture of you. Yeah, you're looking good. You're looking really good. Oh, I like the hat. The hat's looking fly, man. Is that a machine uh, Hey, make sure you use those fly points that your mother's oh, got. Oh, wipe that ketchup off that shirt, Jake. Yeah, Jake, don't get that shirt dirty. Yeah, there's ketchup on his shirt. <laughs> He's modeling it for you. Looks good. That's how froggy fresh you're gonna look at the track. So as you saw, we hooked up Seth with his jersey. I'm also going to hook up a couple machine freaks that went ahead and went to machinemerch.com and made this 3D Machines production possible with their purchase. So we have Blake W, Zach R. I also put a couple of fragile stickers on some of these. We got William C, Kyle R, John S, Jonathan H, Angela W, Sean O, Melissa F, Christopher W, Cheryl D, and 1991 Hector R. Thank you guys all very much. I'm not completely sure if I told you guys the entire story. I went out to this trailer park looking at a couple trailers to see if we could make anything work for crush the manager showed me like five or six campers he was a really nice guy he really liked me i i took off and said yeah we're probably going to pick one of these up i believe that was friday and then i called them up monday about 30 minutes into the day so they opened at like 9 15 i called them at 9 45 and by then he was already giving another tour to people that like like myself who are interested in trailers didn't hear from him the whole day until like three o'clock i called him up and he said he gave that one away so i talked to him i called him like four or five times trying to trying to see how I could possibly get this from him because like I said, it was, it's free. He can give it to whoever he wants, so I offered him money. He wanted it out of the park as soon as possible and I said I could do that. So I told him we were gonna come the next day no matter what anyways to see if there was something else that had opened up, to see if there was other opportunity. So Jake, Jason, and I went down there. We saw them all, but we didn't like any of them, so then we headed home. The next day, 24 hours later, he called me up and says, Dalton, do you want that trailer? I had a weird feeling because here we had Jake the toilet snake, we had Jason, we had dealer plates, we had we had walkie-talkies, we had everything, the whole nine yards. We were a fine, well-oiled machine. So I still wanted this, so then I went out there and then Seth and I started working at it. I'm sure a lot of you guys wanted to hear the details on that, so those are the details. We will be moving this thing, not right now, but hopefully very soon. The snow is not cooperating, but we have diesel power, we got a lot of horsepower. So hopefully, hopefully all goes well. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. If you have any comments, put them in the comment section below, whether they're funny, whether they're a question, whether they're an answer, anything like that, I would really appreciate it. Until next time, 3D Machines out.